Hello, you all. You already know what we about to get into. We about to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. Oh, we got a Grateful Heart message stuck in the deck. Hold up. We going to read that. Those who hope in Yahweh will renew their strength. So let's see. What would our Elohim like us to know at this time? We got the sun. Yep, those who hope in Yahweh will renew their strength, have peace, joy, vitality, safety, growth. Be whole by trusting in Yahweh. That blessing. By trusting that the Most High will take law and liberty and take action in the material world in your life. And then you'll be able to go tell about it. So those who hope in Yahweh will renew their strength. Get that healing that you need. It only if you if, if you dare to trust in Yahweh, you will receive that blessing. No matter what, no matter what old Lucy creating or doing. <laughs> if you trust in that, no matter what. No matter what old Lucy create, try to do, try to oppress you, try to be cruel, try to, you know, tempt you, etc., etc., you will be able to tolerate it with with the with the sun and, and the most high, which is it ain't and for these three are one, Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. You'll be able to tolerate whatever the hell that old Lucy try to create. Tolerance. But something is coming to an end, though. You're going to have some sort of bliss because the devil is defeated. Those who hope in Yahweh will renew their strength. You'll get stronger and you'll be able to tolerate the things that um, the devil will try to create or anybody that's in that low vibrational energy try to create and try to do to you. Yeah, because somebody is defeated and trying to offer your ass up. Somebody's trying to offer you up, and that's the truth. Somebody's trying to offer you up. A wizard. There's a wizard that's trying to make some sort of offering on you. And a witch. Dang, how that came out back to back. There's a wizard and a witch They tried to make some sort of offering. But you're, but you're the blueprint. You're unconditionally loved. So what is going to happen is they're going to have to be strong because it's going to get channeled back to them. Channel and accountability. So whoever this witch and this warlock is, you better be strong for whatever you was doing, trying to offer somebody up to death and whatever you was doing, you but you're going to have to take accountability for it. So it's being channeled back to you. Yep. Witch and the warlock. Yep, you're gonna have to take accountability for all your deception, your hidden motives, whatever you was doing up under that moon, whatever you was doing in the dark, but the moon still shed light, whatever you did to collaborate, whatever gifts you accepted, you gotta take accountability for it. And it's being channeled back to you. So if you was uh, witching and warlocking and you was teaming up and collaborating and accepting gifts. This is these people love doing sorcery. Queen of Cups, sorcery, King of Cups. Do you love doing sorcery to cause instability to others and death and cruelty and attacks? Y'all better get ready because the shit being channeled back to y'all with whatever y'all was doing is getting channeled right back. And you can make no mistake where it's going to come from. Divine power, wisdom, and clarity. That's why these people have been trying to block that shit out. But you ain't going to be able to block this burden. But for the people who... But for those who hope in Yahweh and renew their strength, 
that divine power is blocking the burden that people tried to put on you to lay you to rest. Because beyond is loyal to the ones that they love. And these people quite didn't understand the status that other people have that they was messing with. The status that somebody has with the divine. These people didn't understand that. And guess what just flipped over? Death. <laughs> These people going to face some endings. These people got... Y'all got long-term plans with death. For y'all little bright ideas and actions that y'all took. It's given final destination. So I don't know who these folks is, but uh, y'all them y'all them messed up. Y'all them messed up. Doing it sorcery. Trying to cause endings and transform things for people for y'all own stability trying to make other people unstable attacking them and those people receive breakthrough because their strength comes from the most high that divine power y'all could have been in the denial about that and continue to try to cause the burden but when y'all get laid to rest and y'all feel what y'all got to feel, y'all going to understand that it's, it's, it's no joke. Y'all going to see it's not a game when what y'all did and what y'all put out get channeled right back to you. The devil out here twice. The death is out here three times. So you will see death in three or endings in three. If it's not death, you will see death or endings in three. That's out here three times. The devil is out here twice. Witch and wizard is out here. Now, I don't know if y'all was doing this sorcery on a man. Because we got Queen of Cups sorcery and then the, um, the King of Cups. We also have another suit out here with the uh, Queen of Pentacles. I don't know if y'all was doing... I don't know. If, let me see. Was this um was this two females doing this on a masculine? Yep, these was two women doing this on a man. This witch is gonna face an ending. And this uh and this Queen of Cups for the sorcery that they was doing. These two women was doing sorcery on a masculine. And they could have, and there could be another person, because remember when I said death is out here three times? There could be another individual. They could have had witches and wizards helping them. But this man began to put their hope in the most high and renew their strength and get the healing and trust it in the divine and the knowledge that was being given to him. So what these two women were doing, it ain't, it, it ain't touch him. Well, it could have, you know, touched him for him to learn what's going on, but you know, not defeat him anyway. But these two women was attacking this man with a uh, sorcery. Is this man a, a wizard? Is this Queen of Pentacles or this Queen of Cups a man? No, so two women. These people went to witches and they didn't care who they was going to to get the sorcery done on this man. Or they could have even possibly been doing it themselves as well. Now, who is this? Um, who is this Queen of um, Cups? Is this Queen of Cups a water sign? Yeah. Is this Queen of Cups a Pisces? Yeah. Who is this King of Cups? Is this King of Cups a Pisces? No. 
Are they a cancer? Yep. Who is this? Um, who's this witch? Who's this Queen of Pentacles? Are they uh Earth sign? No. Scorpio? Are they a water sign? Fire? This is a fire sign. Or uh, is this woman a Leo? No. Aries? No. This is a Sagittarius. So this person went to uh um a Pisces queen of cups. This person could even be a mother or something like that. This Pisces do sorcery. And this Pisces was doing sorcery on this cancer. But this cancer could have been trying to get their spiritual connection. And this could be somebody's this this woman could be a business woman too. A business woman, a mother too. I wonder is this that damn Pisces and uh Sagittarius that I picked up on earlier? Ooh, the horn hunk that was doing death. That's why death is out here all these damn times. Is this is this that uh Pisces and Sag that I picked up on earlier? Oh, okay. So this is in depth with the information that's coming out. Mm. So this Pisces been doing this this sorcery on this cancer. This uh Sagittarius been trying to cause endings. I don't know who with who. This Pisces could be with this cancer or this uh Sagittarius could be with this cancer. And this man could have been in a low vibrational state being connected to these people, but this man tried to renew himself and get healing and had that connection with the most high and accept the knowledge that was being given to him. And that's why whatever this sorcery is, they're not going to get this offering of this man. What's going to happen is you hoes is going to get offered up and the shit that you hoes is connected to going to get offered up. I don't care. Whatever you, whatever sorcery did work on this man, it was meant to work so they can clear some shit out for him with this ten of, uh, ten of wands right here. Because this man was in denial and refusing to see at a time. So it had to get, that burden had to get put on him so he can lay the shit to rest. That's why it was getting heavy on him. So y'all could have thought that y'all sorcery was working and y'all was doing something, but no, the most high allowed that so that burden can get put on that man so he can lay this shit to rest with whatever one of you wicked hoes or the both of you wicked motherfuckers. But you hoes is gonna pay. You hoes is gonna see endings and death in threes. So get ready for that. Whoever the fuck y'all is. That's what the fuck y'all can get ready for. Doing weird ass, demonic ass shit. So just know if you a man and you've been going through the issue with cancer or whatever the case may be, continue to trust in the divine. Continue to accept the divine's knowledge and you will be led where you need to go, you know, where you need to go and what you need to get through because uh, you got two raggedy motherfuckers on your ass and they doing spiritual shit making offerings and shit them ho I picked up on them hoes doing death magic and shit trying to cause endings
love in reverse because these motherfucking hoes ain't got it. These some damn karmics. They broke your heart. Fuck them. Hoes ain't got no love. They leave some karmic hoes that you had to learn a lesson. Look, spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. I don't know if it was about the money or what, but mm -mm, this person ain't worth it. I don't know if you with this Pisces or this motherfucking uh, stash, but motherfucker ain't worth it. It ain't love. This is a karmic connection and somebody broke somebody's heart. Fuck them. Spend your time on someone worth it. Do not waste it on ridiculous shit. Porn hunt confirmation. So something about some money here, get over yourself, pull your shit together. It's not everyone's fault, it's yours. So you do have to accept your role that you played in whatever this is, messing with this karmic hoe. But you need to know that you a badass dude. You got to act like it. You got to know that you winning. You may feel like you losing, maybe behind some money or something like that, but you're not losing. You're winning. You have, you got rid of a karmic fucking rat that does the unspeakable to people. That's connected to a sorceress. A whole to do sorcery. You're winning. So you got to look at the light in the situation. Yeah, money can be replaced. But what can't be replaced is your soul. You know what I'm saying? That, that can't be replaced. Your salvation. You can't put a price on that shit. So tighten up. I know it's easier said than done to say, fuck that money, we're in the material world. But if you pray, the divine will give you what you need and he will add to you. You will lack nothing. You will be okay. So don't worry about that shit. If that hoe got some money or whatever the case may be, I don't know what's going on, but fuck it. Because that hoe going to, listen, let me tell you something. If that person been sitting up there connecting with sorcerers and witches and wizards and and also doing manipulative shit in the physical with an ill heart and it ain't out of love, that hoe gonna pay for that shit. Them two bitches gonna see death and endings in threes. And you better be glad that you got out of there and it ain't gonna be you. See, it was fucking dark. You couldn't see a fucking thing. You had to detox the hoe. And you need to stop talking. You gotta be quiet. Just let, let the divine do what he do. They ain't getting off with that. You just need to hush. Because some good shit about to happen to you. Look at that. Just be quiet. Allow that shit to come to you. Yeah, some good shit is about to happen, but you got to allow it to come to you. You are talented and fucking amazing. Time to let go. Let it go. Because them two filthy hoes ain't right. And yeah, I said it. Them some filthy motherfucking hoes. <laughs> Yeah, they filthy. Manipulative. You better be happy, shoes. You winning. <laughs> you think you losing because whatever going on with that money, young. You winning. Don't text. Don't stop. Don't check on that person. Just <coughs> let it go. Because you would be giving your power away. You too badass for that. You a badass dude, but you got to know it. For yourself. And stop sleeping with this person. Don't sleep with them. That'd be the worst thing you can do. Stupid. Ain't no get some, give some, no. Don't do that. If that's what you thinking about. Hitting it still, whatever. Don't do it. <laughs> That'd be stupid. You got set free for some from some shit that you refused to see. So that's why the burden had to get on you hard because you trying to wife a hoe. That person in that queen of pit you trying to wife a whore. 
a spiritual whore. <laughs> like, uh, nah. The divine got better plans for you. Now, you can accept it or you can stay with that dumb shit, but it ain't going to look good for you and your spirit. And that's what you need to be worried about. It ain't going to look good for you and your spirit, brother. So you in a partnership where you was or is and was in a partnership with one of these people. We're going to pull the relations, relations. <laughs> yeah, we're going to pull relations, relations real quick. What's this relations, relations? That shit was built on pain and struggle, suffering, struggle of. That shit ain't love. And that's why it came out in reverse. Old wounds, big issues. Somebody not even relationship material for real. Somebody just wanted to stake their claim on some shit. Something could be the topic of discussion too. Abuse of any type, get out now. That means physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally. Shit, get your ass out of there. And there's outside energy affecting the relationship. That shit is over. Somebody could have been cheating. Volatile arguments, toxicity. Somebody could have been like, man, I give up. Or somebody told you they gave up, but shit, that's a good thing, shit. Somebody could have been, you could have been going on, y'all could have had vacations and vacations. Anything else. If somebody's a serial repeat offender with whatever they be doing. Serial repeat offender, meddling friends and family. You could have felt like this was the love of your life, but somebody got a work wife or a work hubby and they be up to no good. <laughs> yeah, something is definitely a topic of discussion. Could be business, pleasure, be careful. Grimy ass couple could have been grimy while you was with the hoe. Yeah, mm mm. Jealousy, I sense. Yeah, a grimy couple. Which warlock? You could have been warlocking too. Before you decided to renew your strength and get a connection with the Most High. Or you was in a grimy couple in a grimy partnership because you was dealing with a witch. There could have been a warlock around or involved, too. That's double confirmation, witch and warlock coming out. And then somebody is also, they're either bisexual or a lesbian or gay. Shoot, they be telling people be quiet because they like to show that love privately, but they really probably don't even like you for real. They like something else. Bottom of the deck, never ever getting back together. That'll be your best. That'll be the best decision you ever made. We ain't never ever ever getting back together. Hmm. Let me see. Let me ask again, because the way that came out is is this is the is the Pisces and the Cancer and cahoots? No. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to pull some hustle for you real quick. Yeah, sometimes you be, you see, you deserve more money. Sometimes you got to leave some shit so you can get better. Splitting the deck is you deserve more money. Sign that damn contract. You got to have a contract coming and shit. And you worry about that money. Save your money at this time. You worried about that money, but the divine got something good for you. Yeah, teamwork. Protect your money. Because somebody teaming up on your ass. It's a teamwork effort. Protect your money. Pray over your money. And watch out for bad deals. You could be a wealthy man. Watch out for bad deals and business betrayals. Because it's a snake. It's a snake. It's definitely a snake somewhere. 
But luck is on your side because you got a contract coming, man. And here it go again. You deserve more money. Shit. You going to be running shit, calling the shots. Start them on the rise. Be proud of yourself. <laughs> Confirmation. Be proud of yourself for what you did. Prepare the best is yet to come and invest in yourself. One of these wicked hoes trying to curse your money. So fake it till you make it, whatever you got to do and be smart with your money and use your skills to create because you got skills, you're talented, it came out. Living up, you're going to be living it up because you done made it. Your hard work is paying off, continue to study and do your homework. You might even get a new whip or something, something that's guided by the most high. But you got to accept it, you know what I'm saying? Cut them wicked hoes out. Yeah, this, these people trying to curse your money and your hustle, and you could have multiple sources of income or something like that. They trying to mess. With, they trying to mess with your money, so you don't have you know get your hustle on. But you supposed to be a whole money magnet, so bad luck caution won't end well. These people trying to keep being super greedy. Bad luck, caution won't end well. They're going to fall into some shit with their greedy asses. So you keep hustling and don't give up because cha-ching, money rain. And you're going to attract you a, a, a wealthy woman. Sacrifices just needed to be made. And whatever that witch hole you was dealing with, that was the sacrifice that needed to be made. So whatever you've been saying, if you've been talking and shit, shut up. <laughs> keep your mouth shut you is winning bruh it don't matter what it look like you is winning it don't matter what it look like can we get some keys real quick maybe do you some yoga or something just calm down this is being spiritually guided and sometimes it don't look like how we want it to look, but I'm trying to tell you, you being spiritually guided because you had a witch on your path. Somebody could smoke weed or get high off or something. You could even smoke. But you a whole divine masculine. You needed to connect to your soul tribe. This person ain't like you. Yeah, you had to look, diet, change. You had to make a change, okay? Because you a boss. And whole time you in your shadow side because you dealing with this fucking karmic. You was in this karmic cycle. And then Big Chop is right after that. You had to get the Big Chop so you can heal. Shit, your bag gonna heal too. You could do any type of art form. You have artist energy. You had to heal. You got to heal the bag. This is a learning experience for you, student. You could also be a parent. Y'all could even have kids. You learning. And no poly shit. Reverse. Don't... Ugh. You got to follow the signs. No poly. Because if you get a, a real divine feminine to come your way, ain't going to be no uh, poly and third parties and shit. And if you got a kid with somebody and you end up getting into somebody else, they can't be involved. You got to follow the signs, man. Follow the signs. It's time to transform. Transformation. It's time for you to transform. You got the mirror. Yeah, because you're you're of influence, or there's a divine feminine that's influencing you. Shit, they could be getting targeted by these two queens on the web they can get they can be getting targeted by these two queens on the web but that shit is being led by the chief too 
They gonna get flexed on. <laughs> Shit. One of these hoes got a strong ass face. You see these two queens? They on the web. One of them look real feminine. One of them kind of strong. These people could have small businesses, land, investments. These people feel targeted, possibly. But we have transformation here, the mirror, the influence. Yet you're being influenced by the alpha, a whole scholar. I mean, shit. The sunlight. You being influenced by somebody connected to the divine. It could be an introvert. They could be to themselves. Somebody also could be a model. There's an elder here too. Soul tie. You got a rebel against it because you can't see. You could be the damn target. That's what it came out. Not this person. They could be targeted too, but you know. Yeah, something is getting illuminated on the web here about these queens. And what the fuck they be in the, in the market doing. And this is led by the chief for it to get exposed. Our world today, woke, daily guidance, oracle cards. <laughs> it's led by the divine, led by the chief. Who the commander in chief? The most high, sharing that knowledge and that intellect about what's going on in the dark. We got the moonlight, what's deceptive, what's hidden. Because somebody is targeting the empath in their business, in their throne. But whoever you are, it's time to be quiet and let the shit go. Because you, what's that uh, ride wave already won? Listen to that because you already won. Them fools ain't no good. And eight grateful heart messages came out here. And then seven, because you you need to, you know, you're on the road to getting perfected in the spirit. So, you know. And I, I'm that's going across my mind. Like, can these hoes do, can these, can these, these wicked heifers can't do nothing with that, whatever that, what he got coming in. Uh, and then keep your mouth shut too about what you got coming in. I don't know what kind of contract it is, but. Mm -mm. We have here for this by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of Yahweh. Worship Yahweh with gladness, come before him with joyful songs. Yahweh turns deserts into pools of water, the dry land into springs of water. So if anything dry or lacking, listen, it, the most high turns deserts into pools of water. You will have what you need. In him, my heart trusts and I am helped. My heart exalts and with my song, I give thanks to him. Our lives are in Yahweh's hands. He keeps our feet from stumbling. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous how well I know it. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest form of appreciation is not to utter the words, but to live by them. And you know, I ain't never noticed that that was John F. Kennedy right there. And he was popping out a lot in, the, uh, I think it was like a week ago or some time ago in, in the readings. We have here, you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. My help comes from Yahweh who made heaven and earth. In him, our hearts rejoice when we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love rest upon us, O Yahweh. 
Yahweh makes his people strong. Yahweh gives his people peace. May you be blessed by the maker. May you be blessed by Yahweh, the maker of heaven and earth. So I hope you all got a message from this read that will help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Peace. <laughs>